Hi and welcome to Best in Tesla. In just under four weeks, Tesla's robo taxi network is set to hit the street of Austin and maybe soon thereafter the whole state, marking a pivotal moment in the autonomous driving. While the world has been chasing full self driving cars since the 1980s, from Carnegie Mellon's NavLab to Waymo's mapped out ride, Teslas are about to redefine the game with a system that doesn't need pre mapping roads and a fleet that can scale in days, not years. The future of transportation is here. So buckle up because this is bigger than you think. So let's check it all out and let's dive right in. So we are under four weeks away from Tesla releasing robo taxis to the public in Austin. And yes, we have been waiting for five to six years for this moment, but we are finally here. But autonomous vehicles or AVs have been on the way for decades. It's just that most people only look at Tesla and see that Elon has been wrong on timing so many times before, forgetting all about everyone else has also promised autonomous vehicles and the whole history of autonomy. Because autonomous vehicles has been underway for a long, long time. All the way back in 1986, Carnegie Mellon's university, NavLab 1, a van equipped with LiDAR and computer vision, was one of the first computer-controlled vehicles designed for autonomy. It operated in controlled environments and laid groundwork for later AVs, but wasn't public available. Also in 1986, Ernst Dickmann's Mercedes-Benz van at Bundeswehr's University in Munich drove autonomously on skid pad and by 1987 it reached 90 km or 56 miles per hour on an empty autobahn. This was a pioneering prototype not available to the public but a benchmark in the AV research. And in 1997 Park Shuttle in Netherlands an automated public mover in the Schiphol airport was billed as the world's first driverless vehicles for public use. It operated on a dedicated line using magnets embedded in the road, achieving level 4-like autonomy in a controlled setting. It carried passenger, making it available in a limited public context. So we have had autonomous technology and autonomous vehicles for decades. But they have just had different kind of technology underneath and none of them have been able to scale it. But it was Waymo that was the first to publicly start robotaxis as we know it today. You could order a Waymo robotaxi from your app if you were in the right place of Phoenix five years ago. So very cool stuff but just like all the other autonomous tech before it, it is not a general solution. It only works in certain areas or pre-mapped geofenced areas, not much different from having magnets embedded in the road. So today Waymo is doing 250,000 paid rides a week. So Waymo have definitely paved the way for autonomous vehicles for sure. But why are they not profitable yet with 250 rides a week? And why do they only have 700 to 800 autonomous taxis on the roads in the US after seven years of testing and five years of operating Republic robo taxis? Why don't they scale up? Because in the state of Texas, Waymo could expand to the whole state if they wanted to. Because legally, Texas lack a restrictive AV regulation that means Waymo and Tesla could deploy unsupervised full self-driving vehicles beyond Austin as long as they comply with state traffic laws and federal safety standards. So. The state treat AVs as having a driver license without requiring a driving test, so there's no explicit barrier to operating statewide. So why is Waymo still only operating in downtown Austin? Because this is really the big difference between what Tesla has developed and what Waymo has made. Waymo needs to map the whole state 
to be able to operate Robotaxi statewide. So mapping the entire state of Texas for way more autonomous vehicles would likely take like four to six years under realistic condition, assuming Waymo deploys significant resources like 50 to 100 mapping teams prioritizing major roads and urban areas. But even after all of that, they have only mapped Texas. They can't drive to any neighboring states. So this is why I think Tesla will come in and blow away the doubters. Because Tesla will no doubt start out small, like they have said, like 10, 20 Model Ys to begin with, and then scale up from there if they see that everything is working smoothly. But that is the thing, right? Tesla can within days have as many robotaxis on the street of Austin as Waymo have, and then just continue going from there and not be limited to downtown Austin. And the cool thing is that Tesla can simply tell the cars coming off the production line in Austin, okay, the next 100 models coming off the line will not drive to the parking lot, but simply drive themselves to downtown Austin and start working as robotaxis. Meanwhile, Waymo is waiting for Seeker to ship their mix van to the US from China, costing Waymo something like $80,000, and that's not including shipping. Then they have to spend some time adding sensors and computers to the car that will cost Waymo something like $40,000. So they will end up with a car that cost $120,000, and it has taken them months to get this car from China and fit it with all the sensors. But Tesla has a new Model Y coming off the assembly line every 40 seconds or so and can work as a robotaxi. So if everything works well with the public test, because Tesla has been doing non-public tests for employees for a while now and have already been driving over 15,000 miles with their employees in the San Francisco Bay Area and Austin. So as you can see here in this Tesla video, they are driving to 1501 Page Mill Road. That is way down in south of the San Francisco area, a place that Waymo can't even drive. And this is the beauty of Tesla's system, right? It can drive everywhere, as Tesla has shown with their full self-driving software, is now driving all over China. And we have seen video of them testing the streets of Europe as well. And we had just seen Keys showing off that his Tesla in the Netherlands was driving him nag free as he wrote, Autopilot drive me nag free in the Netherlands. Driver's monitoring system is very smart and noticed that I am paying attention and have my hand in a position to take over when necessary. We are so ready for full self-driving supervised. Even though holding my phone in my right hand to film autopilot knows it is all right. It is so insanely relaxing not to deal with the knack. Like you Americans have been experienced for years. So we know it can drive everywhere. So Tesla should pretty easily expand their robotaxis from Austin to the whole state pretty fast. As the law doesn't seem to prevent this, Tesla's system can drive everywhere, so Tesla's network effect is going to be on a completely different level than anyone else. As the robotaxis don't care to drive out in the middle of nowhere to pick someone up to drive them back to the cities as Uber drivers or normal taxis would have. So they can deploy these 10 to 20 to start with, then another 100 and just keep going and have 10 to 20 thousand robo taxis deployed in the state of Texas very fast. And they can actually drive people everywhere, from downtown Austin to the airport to Texas factory, or to Houston, or to Dallas for that matter, and will not be limited. Waymos can't drive to the airport in Austin or to Tesla's factory. And this will hardly be visible on Tesla's cost that they have launched 20,000 Model Y on the street in Texas as robo-taxis. But for Waymo to try to do the same? Firstly, it will take them four to six years to geofence the whole state. But it would also cost Waymo $2.4 billion to get 20,000 robotaxis on the street in Texas. It is going to be so costly and time consuming for Waymo. So that is why they have not scaled up because it's too costly, it's too complicated to do so with all their geofencing mapping they have to do. 
So they are only still operating after five years because Google is willing to keep throwing money at it. Remember, we did have cruise robo taxis as well, using the same kind of technology as Waymo, but that didn't end well. They are no longer operating as they could not continue to burn through cash. But Google has a way bigger pile of money than GM has, so they can keep the light on for longer time, even though they are nowhere near being profitable, even with all the rides they do today. But this is what many don't seem to get: the cost structure of Tesla's robo taxi model against basically everyone else, and not even with the Cybercab that we know will be very affordable for Tesla to build thanks to the new unbox production method, but also the simplicity of the Cybercab itself that is using about half the components as a Tesla Model 3. But even with just the Model Y, Tesla will have a much More affordable robo taxi than someone like Waymo. And I know some people think that Tesla will have a safety driver in the robo taxi when they launch, but I don't think so because both Tesla and Elon and many of the employees have said they will launch unsupervised. In June, so it would not make sense to me to launch unsupervised and then supervise it with a human driver inside, because that is what Tesla is doing right now. They are testing it out now with employees and with a driver supervising the system, making sure it works properly, so that they can take the driver out on the first of June and just have a complete robo taxis on the street. I still hope they will make some kind of event showing it off, like having the Model Ys coming off the assembly line and driving themselves to downtown Austin, because that will show off Tesla's capabilities. Because this is something Waymo would not be able to do, and it will show that Tesla is only. Producing robo taxis now. They are not making any normal cars at all. All Tesla's cars coming off the production line are capable of being robo taxis. What a signal to send to the world! Yes, our cars are driving themselves off the assembly line, straight out on the street, working as robo taxis. And as Elon has said, we will probably see the first car coming off the assembly line and drive itself. This year, to a customer in Texas. If that end up being true, I don't think we will have many doubters left. An analyst will start thinking about the implication, not just of the robo taxis, but for Tesla not to having to use trucks anymore to get their cars to Tesla's delivery centers. But they just drive themselves to customers. It is truly a wild future we are witnessing taking shape right in front of us. Unlocking maybe the biggest value creation we have ever seen in human history, and it all starts this year. And the first big step will be taken in less than 30 days from now. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.